Each year, more than 300,000 people die suddenly in the United States. The cause is the heart's electrical system. Dr. Ravi Manapati of Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center gives us the definition of his specialty, electrophysiology. Electrophysiology is a specialty which deals with heart rhythm problems of the heart, which includes both slow and fast heartbeat conditions. The heart rhythm can be dangerous because of two conditions. One is if the lower chambers are beating so fast that the heart is not able to keep up and pump enough blood, then there's not enough blood going to the circulation and you can pass out and die. The second thing is if your upper chambers of the heart are beating in a very fast and irregular manner, then that can cause clots which can cause a stroke. And the third thing is if you are going in a fast heartbeat for a long time, your heart muscle can get weak and tired. If you have heart disease and you have a heart rhythm problem, especially from the lower chamber, then it's not good news. We can control this with giving a protective, uh, you know, uh, uh, an insurance policy with a defibrillator, control this with a combination of medicines, and for people who are having a lot of rhythm problems, also do the ablation procedure, which will decrease the number of episodes. The most common kind of fast heart rhythm, especially in younger patients and in healthier patients, is called SVT that is supraventricular tachycardia. That's the rhythm that is coming from the upper chambers of the heart. Normally not life-threatening, but it can be an, in a nuisance and an inconvenience, and we can manage it with, with medications. But now, over the last 20 years, our catheter ablation procedures have been so successful with success rates as high as 95% that we can actually fix and cure the problem. The way the patients come to us is twofold. Most patients, usually come in with an appointment because their heart rhythm has been controlled by the time they come to see the electrician, that's me. The, there are some patients who go to the emergency room in, in sustained fast heartbeat, which the emergency room doctor is not able to control. A second group of patient is a patient who has one of these devices, either a defibrillator or a pacemaker. And you know, firing from the defibrillator is another reason where, where you have to see the patient right away. The doctor explains the devices used for irregular heartbeat. When we're talking in terms of devices for the heart rhythm, the most common is a pacemaker which deals with slow heartbeat. The next is the defibrillator which we call the Cadillac or the Lexus because it does all the job of the pacemaker but also is able to take care of fast heartbeat problems. And the third kind of device is a small device which we put on the chest to monitor, for example, the patient is complaining of fast heartbeat, but either we've never seen it on an EKG, nor on a 24-hour monitor or a 30-day monitor, then we can implant those kind of monitors. So those are the three most common kind of, of devices that we use. I'll tell you about a 19-year-old about a, a who came in with extremely fast heartbeat, and uh, you know, he came into the emergency room with, a, you know, with what we call a nasty rhythm, which is a wide, complex, you know, the EKG looks really nasty. Uh, you know, in that, that kind of situation, in the emergency room, you don't mess around, you just shock him. And then we found that he had an extra short circuit, and we went in and zapped it with, you know, you put, you put, go in with catheters into the heart, find out the exact spot, zap it, and, and get rid of it. And now, you know, he's, he's as good as new.